Hey what's up guys, today I'll be showcasing the old web and you can acquire this weapon at the things be twitch and you'll have to trade with Dinah and Till of the Crows and the items you'll have to trade are petrified something, smooth and silky stone or a small and smooth silky stone. I found this weapon really easy to use and you're gonna only need to do basically two things and that's keeping your distance and keeping your attacks unpredictable. And the reason why you want to keep your distance is because it takes a while for you to recover from your attacks and roll away. Keeping your distance will basically hinder your opponent from getting a backstab. And one way to keep your attacks unpredictable is just switching up your moves and the second way is animation cancellation. And if you don't know what animation cancellation is, it's when you attack and then you instantly backstab, canceling the animation. And the best part about this weapon is you can't parry it. And let me say that again, you cannot parry it. There's a, a ridiculous amount of people trying to parry this weapon, it was so damn funny. This weapon could also be a really great secondary weapon. It only weighs 2.5 pounds so you could just keep it on the side and just pull it out whenever you're like scared to get parried. And some cons about the weapon are that you could get easily backstabbed if you don't keep your distance and uh, the durability goes down so quick it goes down faster than the wash and pull even though it has 40 I don't know why it goes down quicker than the washing pull but that's how it feels like so you might want to use the bracing knuckling ring with this weapon or even keeping an extra one on the side if you're really serious about the weapon but I didn't find myself needing the ring or an extra one on the side because of the damage output. The damage output basically ended the fights quick. And talking about rings, you might also want to equip the stone ring for more poise damage. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the move sets and some of their advantages. Alright, so some of the attacks are kind of the same, so that's the reason why we have to keep our attacks unpredictable. They all strike forward with a really good distance. These are a few of the attacks that are pretty much the same. For the one-handed backstab and run attack, your character does a nice twirling animation and your attack covers a large area. This attack works really great with the animation cancellation technique. one-handed and two-handed rolling attack are pretty much the same. This attack is great to gain a little bit more range into your attack and you could also target it 180 degrees. The two-handed strong attack's first attack has a really great delay to it. I like to use this attack to provoke a roll from my enemy. And since it has a delay in its attack, it usually catches my enemy at the end of its roll. The only thing that could probably stop this weapon is a good shield. And I did get a lot of shield users when I was using this weapon, but I basically guard break all of them. And since your opponent can't parry you, Use that to your advantage and try to parry them and it just makes it that much worse for your enemy. 
that's it for the showcase and please leave a like if you guys learn something new or just enjoy the vid and keep watching for more PvP clips.